story of success, I'm Rania Al-Azabi. Welcome to all our viewers around the world. Each time we'll be bringing compelling and inspiring profiles. Each and every story we tell gets us closer to people who have the power to bring in change and make a difference. Now, let's get started. Today we're honoring one of Egypt's renowned names, both in medicine and photography. He started off his life joining the faculty of medicine, while ultimately leading a career into photography. He kind of put photography into medicine and medicine into photography. Let's study the man up close and see what he's doing right now. Dr. Mohamed Adib, welcome to Story of Success. I'll kick start by asking you, why did you choose medicine as a career? Before the interview you told me that you were following the path of your sister and uncle and you were in the desire to help. First, uh, that uh, uh, the, my, my older sister actually, she is a doctor and my uncle is, uh, uh, he is the physician for the chest physician. And uh, both of them, they encouraged me when the, I was studying uh, that I want to be a doctor as I saw that how much the message they are wa wa wanted to, to give to help the people and treat the people. So actually, I put this in my mind that I want to help the people. I want to uh, uh, make something good for them and they continue uh, their life and social life after accidents or after any disease and also to prevent uh, because we have uh, many habits or many uh, uh, wrong uh, 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 activities in our life that uh, we can uh, prevent them and so we can prevent the disease from the occurrence. Uh, you have quite well contributions to the speciality you are in. Give us some information about it. Uh, about the photography. Not photography. No, I'm talking about medicine. Hmm. You have uh, contributions uh, in, uh, in medicine. Tell us some information about the contributions you did in this speciality. I actually, I'm orthopedic surgeon, and uh, after the, my graduation, uh, I was uh, choose this. Uh, it is one of the branches of the surgery. The surgery it is uh, technical, and it is need uh, an, an uh, ha uh, uh, art, and the, the the hand of the surgeon. Uh, of course, it is an artistic hand, uh, which it is in his uh, back of his gown. How he can create the operation, he can, how he can prepare the, uh, the operations, how he can, uh, post-operative can uh, make a design for the operation. And that's why I was chosen and I will be an orthopedic surgeon. I took this career in uh, my study as a resident in one of the big hospitals here in Egypt, and then I took uh, the MS or Swedish surgery, and then I did not uh, stop for that. I was continued to take an MD degree of orthopedic surgery. What about your contributions outside Egypt? The contribution in Egypt, actually, I was, uh, 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 I like the research work. Outside Egypt? Outside uh, Egypt, I was uh, uh, taking uh, many uh, opportunity for the training abroad. Uh, not only, not only that uh, uh, when I was a medical student, but I take the opportunity also uh, when I was a student in medical uh, school, I was went for England in the uh, summer uh, vacation. Uh, in the second uh, uh, year and the fourth year, uh, because I like the painting, I, I visit uh, many museums. And uh, actually, the, the I was uh, directed by uh, some of uh, uh, my colleagues and professors in the art. Please, Muhammad, uh, you must visit the, this museum and uh, make, make the background not only for uh, the um, uh, pharaonic history, Islamic history, uh, Coptic history. You must see by your eyes uh, what the world 
uh, look and what are the modern uh, uh, schools of uh, the art and uh, so actually I was visiting museums whether this is a historical museum in, in England uh, in France in Switzerland uh, beside my training and uh, when I was and uh, after the graduation I take an AO uh, fellowship of Switzerland I went for Basel in Switzerland I went for St. Galen so during these uh, uh, visits, I was uh, making an, a photo exhibition uh, inside the hostel. I make in the four big hostels uh, abroad, uh, uh, beside my training as an orthopedic surgeon, uh, uh, photo exhibitions. Uh, I was very successful because I was taking an uh, interlink between the people there, the different culture, and my culture as an Egyptian uh, citizen. Give us some information about the uh, exhibitions that were organized in hospitals. What for and what results did they yield? Of course, this is a very good question. And when I was starting to make and this exhibition, it was a medical uh, photography. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know that, uh, of course, there is a big link between the uh, photography and uh, our practice. Uh, we'll, gi we'll give this more details later. Uh, so actually, uh, uh, in our research or, or our documents, you need a good camera, you need a, a good document. You can, you can be a professor and you can be a very good uh, researcher, but you cannot uh, transport uh, what you have for the people, for the, your colleagues. So this is a very important tool. And so I was start a medical photography in uh, 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 Stanmore uh, in London, one of the royal hostels in London. I made a, uh, a medical photography. And uh, uh, beside that, there is just before me, there is another medical photography. I did a big research about the osteoarthritis knee and how they are used a microscopic uh, 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 photography for uh, very close to the cells and all of that. So uh, uh, this is what also helping me. Not beside that, a medical photography I was used to transform uh, uh, the, the, the people of the country which I was visit in, in Switzerland, in uh, Marsilia, in France. I was uh, making the uh, Korea, South Korea and Seoul, and la lastly in Korgan in Russia. I was transfer all of my culture in my country to the people there. I was uh, presenting myself as I ambassador mm -hmm. to transfer uh, Luxor, Aswan, our deserts, our folklore, and the people, they are very, very happy. And at the same, I was very happy, uh, feeling that I am uh, not only doctor. Actually, uh, during this uh, uh, photography, as you start your question, uh, there is a big link between the photography and uh, uh, the medicine. And uh, as you said that uh, you have an, an orthopedic surgeon, mm -hmm. I, uh, we are using uh, the, the camera not only for the arthroscope mm -hmm. uh, for diagnosis, and also we are using the camera for the very advanced in the uh, gait analysis and special uh, analysis for the handicapped children and the handicapped people are using a special uh, technology for using a camera, which it is the infrared camera. So actually, there are very good bridge between the orthopedic surgeons and uh, uh, my medicine and photography, which we are taking there. Both of them, they are enrich each other. And they give me an advanced, advanced step. A term that emerged as we were uh, talking about the interview is photography art therapy. Would you give us some definition for this term? Actually, uh, there is uh, many definitions about this uh, uh, item, photography art. There is what is called phototherapy. Phototherapy, it is the treatment of by uh, special colors of uh, 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 a lamp, which it is give uh, a special rays and this is they are using also in the uh, uh, premature baby. And also there is uh, what is called now a color therapy. Uh, color therapy is a part of art therapy, 
which is they can use the different colors for the helping and treating the schizophrenia, the depression, the mania, and all of this. So uh, uh, actually, the using the camera and photography uh, uh, as a part of the art therapy, it is now in the, la in the nowadays and the, uh, the beginning, uh, the end of the last century, the beginning of this uh, 21 uh, this century, uh, they have using the uh, new modalities of digital camera for uh, taking a more advanced in health care of our patients in advanced diagnosis and advanced treatment. Not only of that, they are using it for the treatment of the handicapped children and handicapped people. Uh, they are using for uh, the drug abuse, they are using for enriching of the physiotherapy and rehabilitation. Uh, in last centers, when I was in Vienna, they are using the camera for sport medicine. And uh, there is very advanced um, analysis for uh, taking a very high uh, models and diagnosis of the defects which is present in the muscles and the gait because they are improving the uh, physiques and improving the, uh, 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 the player who must have achieved a golden medal why he did not have uh, achieving all of this. So actually, the, the nowadays, the photography, it is uh, uh, giving a much more advanced in medical service and increasing the total quality management, not only in the colors of the hospital, but putting the uh, photography in big scales in the entrance of the hospital, in the entrance of the emergency room, in the entrance of the uh, inpatient room. Uh, talk to us a little bit about your prizes and times you were honored outside and inside Egypt. Uh, actually, uh, these prizes, it is a part medical and a part uh, it is... Uh, uh no, we're talking medicine for the time being. Uh, for medicine, I took the prizes uh, from uh, uh, a medical syndicate. It is Yawm al it is the doctor day. And uh, uh, because I was making a combination of uh, uh, the doctor and uh, uh, keeping the art with me, and this is was a big push for me that I must not leave one of them. There is uh, some of my professor, Muhammad, he, if you want to concentrate, concentrate in one part, but I never, because I find them, both of them, they are enriching each other. Uh, not only is that, I was continuing the uh, MS degree and the MD degree. I took uh, a very advanced uh, researches in the spine surgery, uh, and uh, we are making this spine surgery with using uh, special techniques, using the camera video and uh, photography, which it is helping my researchers uh, to take all of these degrees. Uh, in advance. Half a century journey in the field of medicine, you must have faced a lot of challenges. Talk to us a little bit about it. Uh, this actually challenge, challenge